Welcome back to Elden Ring. We're at Fort Height West, which is just south of the Mistwood. Looking for Lord Kenneth, which should be inside of here, maybe. Just before that, though, I want to check out this area here, underneath the cliff. I feel like there could be a catacombs there or something. Oh, I gotta read these. Beastead. Behold, God! A little baby poop. Ooh. Machine gun. God, that's fun. I mean, I'm sorry, doggy, but just the machine gun is fun. <laughs> Some messages. Tranquility. Beautiful. Visions of Fortnite. But yeah, it is beautiful. Ah, trio. Oh, the three birds. Look at him. Three of them. Oh, that just loops around to the bridge that we've already been been across. Okay, well, I guess there's nothing there. Back to Fort Hyde West. Oh, there's some defenses here. What's shooting? Ah. Well, it'll be a nice distraction for me. Oh, right, I still have that. Ah! This is a time for carrying greatsword. Oh, they're stuck in a battle. Yes, group up. Go around the outside, see if there's anything hiding in the back. Fortnite. Like, this tiny, tiny place. Is this really all there is to the place? It's so tiny. Ambush ahead. Be wary of fire. Oh, I love that. I love the range on it. Fort Height. Mm. 
Ah. I probably don't even need to charge it to kill him. Praise the lever? What? <laughs> On the ass of this thing? Praise the lever? I don't get it. Is that some terrible sex joke? Maybe they hadn't discovered the that pickle means dick in the Elden Ring lore. <laughs> Let's see what this does. Well, nothing when you can't get it off. Having fun with all my smell my spells now. That did absolutely nothing. Uh, they seem to have the blood thing, so, like, is that Kenneth? Because Kenneth was supposed to be very bloody. Kenneth is stuck on a box. Well, that's no fun. Oh, there we go. They finally destroyed it. I should have wore a bloody slash. I don't think that was Kenneth, though. Probably not. Gilded Great Shield. Ooh. Takes 36 strength. Oh, it's got 69 guard boost. That's so good. What does it look like, though? Freaking huge! Pretty, though. Yeah, there's a couple Ashes of War I need to check out and see if I can apply to my flail or some other weapon that I might want to use. It's at least two. Could there be anything over there? I don't think so.
Why are there blood stains? Is it just from falling off? <laughs> yeah. Four souls. Four runes. I think I just got four a second ago, too. Who's dying? <gasps> Wait a minute. Dectus medallion left. I had half of a piece of something. I don't know if it was a Dectus thing, though. It might have been another thing. Yeah, it was a Halig Tree secret medallion, right? These are not going to go together. Join medallions to operate Grand Lift of Dectus. Oh, I found the Grand Lift of Dectus, the, uh, the Site of Grace, but I didn't actually try to use it yet. But apparently it wouldn't work without this anyway. And this is for the Grand Lift of Rolled. So there's at least two Grand Lifts that I can't operate yet. I was expecting this to lead to something, but that's it for this entire place? That must have been Knight Kenneth. Lord Kenneth up there then. Huh. That's it. Okay. Well, let's go back to... Wait, you're Kenneth? Did I mix up the names? Who was I actually trying to find? Well, whatever. Uh, let's go speak with them. Just use my three golden seeds to add a charged flask of crimson tears. Just taking a look at the Ashes of War as well. So the two ones I was interested in are Bloody Slash, which we just got. Um, unfortunately, that makes the weapon scale with Arcane. Which just it gives me terrible damage. It does cause blood loss buildup. And more than the flail does. 65 instead of 45 or 50 with the flail. But still, it's not that much better. Not enough to make up for the fact that it does so much less damage. Yeah, so I don't think I'm going to be using that one. The other one is repeating thrust. So we already have impaling thrust. This one seems similar, but repeating thrust makes me think it could be one of those hold it down and you can keep thrusting for as long as you want. So let's try it on Rogier's Keen Rapier. Should I do magic or cold? I guess maybe cold. Ended up going with cold. And yeah, let's see how this looks. Okay, that's just from... Oh, oh no. That's just from holding it down. What if I keep tapping it? Or what if I tap it once? Does a set of thrusts? What if I keep tapping it? Can I chain it into anything? Wait, what was that? No, that was just a normal heavy attack. Yeah, okay, so you can't chain it. Just discovered there's a side of grace right next to Kenneth, actually. Right over there. Ah, I've been waiting. Did you manage? Oh, excellent news. Just wonderful. And the knight's dead to boot. Well done, my friend. Well done indeed. I knew I was right to trust you. Now, here's your reward, as promised. Go ahead. It's all yours. Earth Steel Dagger. Is that made from an Erd tree? What's Erd steel? Right then. Time for me to head to the fort. I've much to do. First, I'll have to re-establish communication with the Demi-Humans. What's that look? You don't believe me? Well, under the Erd tree, co-mingling with the Demi-Humans is made possible. Even the Vulga shall not be left behind under the rule of true order. Which is why I, Kenneth Height, 
Next in line is the rightful ruler of Limgrave. Have sworn to uphold it. Just you watch, my friend. Just you watch. Ah, yes. Would you like to enter my service? Uh. Right things in your future, stout warrior. Enter into my service and learn the workings of the Erd Tree's true order. And who knows? Perhaps sometime down the line, the grace of gold will return to those tarnished eyes of yours. What say you? A fine accord, is it not? Do I want to pledge my service to this douche? I guess, sure. Very well, very well indeed. I knew I saw something in you. I shall await you at my fort. We shall hold the ceremony for your knighting there, I think. I see great things ahead of us. We are truly by the Erd Tree blessed. I have the lucky foot effect again, even though I didn't take one. It just suddenly started at some point. Does it have something to do with the, like, gold dust raining down on us? Maybe the Erd Tree as well plays a part in it? Maybe the time of day plays a part? I don't know. But let's head back to the fort. Uh, are you sure about the demi-humans and communicating with them? Ah, no. Oh, Christ, right, I'm heavy. Ah, I've got a heavy load. Oh, no. Good thing they do almost no damage. Right, I wanted to look at the weapon they gave me. It was a dagger. Erdsteel dagger takes 14 faith. Ah. Oh. An Erdsteel dagger with a grass crest engraved upon its blade, carried by the Erdtree royalty for self-defense in times of peace. Though forged to a high standard, the weapon is difficult to wield. Attack power also scales with faith. Head. There, now I can properly roll. Kenneth must be up above. I wonder if they're going to be dead. Tried to speak with the demi humans and got murdered. No, they're fine. Ah, you, is it? Ah, I suppose you must have seen it by now, yes. The sorry state of my fort. Oh, indeed, it is a foul fate for a land to be without a ruler. One must be found with haste. And not that awful Godric, but a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. I'm sorry to have lifted your hopes, but I haven't the authority to raise you to knighthood as things stand. The great Kenneth Height issues his sincerest apology, but now I must begin my search post haste for a true and stalwart lord of the proper lineage to take the reins of Limgrave. Just exploring in the forest a little bit more, I did find a graveyard here. Ooh, sacrificial twig, nice.
Oh, that is too fun. There is a spirit spring here. I was looking for one when I was up above. Hoo -hoo. Oh. I didn't try to aim it. <laughs> Fly away, buddy. Well, they don't even need to. They don't have a care in the world up there. No jumping ahead. Yeah, not, not a good place to go down. It's time for the Siafra River Well. I'm assuming this will connect, or at least be just next to, the Einzel River at some point. Like part of the same system? That could be completely distinct, though. Pretty. Wait, isn't this the well? This is the well that uh, the like wolf person said they'd be waiting for me at, right? The Afra River Well Depths. Map fragment? Oh no, that's just a candlelight. I didn't realize just how far away from the Einzel River we were. This actually probably has nothing to do with it. Melted Mushroom. Do kissed Herba. Oh, we can use our horse here. Not here, ahead. First off, horseback battle. We have those melty mushroom people? We do. Ah, why am I looking at the map? We don't have a map. Message ahead. Laggardly sword ahead. Be wary of group. Oh yeah, the normal enemies, the melty mushroom people are very slow, but will group up on you. 
I wonder if Meteorite would be any good. No. Tinkles. Ah. Ah, I think I need to go this way. How stabby damage. Pretty poor. Right. They're not really stunnable with that. Oh, right in the mushrooms. Ah, I don't have my shield out. Ooh, clay man's harpoon. So those are clay men. I don't really feel like they're clay, though. I, I really am pretty sure that they're mushrooms. Clayman's Harpoon. Oh, it's Strength, Dex, and Int. Nice. Physical and Magic Damage. It's a Spear. Harpoon with a tip made from a sharpened meteorite shard, wielded by the clay men who infest dyn dynastic remains. The blade emits a faint light and deals magic damage. I really need to try repelling their bubbles with this. Oh, 
Oh, right. I never went here. Is there an item? No, there's nothing there. There's no reason to fight those. Ooh, I need you. <laughs> I broke the poise of a little beetle. I don't feel good about that. Seek up. D oh. Uh. Yep, they died from that fall. How? Oh, oh wow, you have to go all the way around. Let's hope I can do it without torrent, because I have a lot less control with torrent. <laughs> Up. No precious item ahead. No item ahead. Yeah, it looks like there's nothing. Oh, I don't know if Loretta's bow can aim down that low. No, 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 no! Ah, why did I do that? I would have died, of course. Why wouldn't I have died? That was pointless. Here. Ah. Oracle bubbles, ooh. No, I did not fight all of them again. Not worth it. Trap ahead. Do all those melty piles reform into the enemies? Dung ahead. Soap. <laughs> Yep. Not gonna bother fighting them.
crab ahead. I want the map fragment for this place. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No head ahead. There was a bridge just like this in the Einzel River as well. And it just gave me deja vu because there was also a message that said no head ahead. I might have cut it out of the episode, but yeah, that just gave me deja vu. But no, this is not the same place, despite that. Preserving boluses alleviates scarlet rot buildup and cures rot. Center? Lever? Is it because the item I picked up was... L a liver? Are they making a pun? Lever, liver? But what does tri-center mean? Uh, now I just need to double check that there's no hidden lever here. No, there's nothing. Lovable little crabbies. Lots of blood stains. A lot of blood stains. Ah, no. Oh. Oh, that is beautiful. that over there might be the map for the area. Let's take a look at that new spell. If I wanted to get rid of something, what would I get rid of? Probably meteorite? I don't know. I still feel like that might have its day, you know? Maybe? I don't know. It seems kind of terrible. Hmm... Let's probably get rid of Carrion Piercer. I don't feel like that has that much utility. It has better range than the Carrion Greatsword, maybe. Then again, I'm not using the shield. I feel like I would only actually use the shield in a specific boss fight that I'm stuck on. Which means I don't need it in my inventory for the first try, so I guess I'll get rid of that. But then again, Crystal Barrage also honestly doesn't have a point other than it's kind of fun. Maybe I'll get rid of both of those just to save me from having to flip through them all the time. Anyway, the new one. Bubbles. Where are my bubbles? Ah, there they are. Oh, they take arcane! No! 
launches several small magic bubbles. Dang it. Why do I need... Why do I need skills to do bubbles? Sorcery of the Clayman, who served as priests in the ancient dynasty, produces several small magical bubbles that drift towards foes before they naturally pop. Charging increases the delay before the bubbles pop. The Clayman search for lost oracles within their bubbles. I don't think you're going to find anything inside of a bubble. Is that like... A will o' the wisp? Or maybe just a ball of electricity. There's also a teleporter over there. Uh, but yeah. Map. Map, map, map. Wait, light flame. What is this? That's not a map. Hmm. Try fire. Oh. That lit one of these. There's eight of them and I have one. Okay. What do you bet this person has the map? Yes! I don't know why, it just called to me. Okay, what do we got? I'm not sure. It certainly seems more open. I mean, I don't think the Einzel River allowed you to use Torrent. Whereas the Siofra River does allow you to. So it makes sense that it's more open. First off, fire, and then here. Yeah, what is up here? Like, what am I charging up? I don't like the look of that. Hollow Horn Grounds. That looks like a boss that's going to be alive once I charge everything. Could this be a boss? Exactly what I'm thinking. Oh, that's probably from someone trying to make the jump and failing. The difference is, I won't fail. Oh, I failed! <laughs> Damn it. The problem is I just didn't get the first jump. Oh, wait. Oh, there's an item down here! And yeah, I don't think there's a way back up. Hornbow! I don't use bows, but I want to read the description. Longbow made from animal horn, wielded by the master hunters of the ancestral followers. Imbues arrows fired with magical damage. Reveals its true worth when used with magic-infused arrows. Oh no, there is a way up. But uh, I might as well just teleport back anyway, because I think this is a good place to end the episode. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we're going to explore the rest of the Siafra River.